Hey guys, I'm here in my craft room and I'm about to install these cute decals from my wonderful walls onto my Alex drawers. I have a couple of sets, a pastel rainbow set and a floral set. Here's a look at the instructions. <laughs> Super cute. Basically, there's only two steps. The first step is to thoroughly clean your uh, your Alex drawers with a damp cloth. And then the second step is to peel them off the backing and slap them onto the Alex drawers. I've already dampened my towel, so I'm just gonna wipe down the drawer fronts. I would advise uh, you also washing your hands and not putting on any lotion or oils or anything like that just to make sure that you don't get any residue on the surface of the fabric decal or on your Alex drawer front. My drawer fronts are pretty clean but um, I'm going to give them a good scrubbing just to make sure that whatever residue I can't see. That's a pretty standard basic step when you're applying um, any sort of adhesive onto something. It just makes sure that there's a good solid adhesion. I'm kind of looking at it from a few different angles just to make sure there aren't any like greasy <laughs> fingers, fingerprints. Once I get the, the damp wipe done, then I go back over it with the dry part of the towel just to speed up that, uh, that drying process. If you're interested in seeing what I have inside these drawers, I will uh, show you the inside at the end. Okay, so I have my drawers wiped down and I'm ready to go ahead and start installing. Now I'll give you a closer look at these. So this is pastel rainbow stripe. So you see how it has these numbers at the top? Three drawers are a smaller size. This will make sure that you get them applied onto the right drawer. They're actually fabric decals, they're not vinyl, and they are supposed to be removable. I don't know if you can still reapply it to something else after, um, after you remove it from the Alex drawers, but at least it's good to know that you can take it off and it, it won't damage the, um, the Alex drawers. So the back here is um, it's like very, it's tacky, but it's not super, super sticky. It's not so sticky that it can't be um, removed from itself. I'm a little bit hesitant to stick it on initially. So what I decided to do was to just turn it, turn it backwards and sort of line it up end to end just to make sure I have a feel for where it should where exactly I should start because I want it to be I want it to be centered where I applied it over here I feel like it's a little bit shifted um, to the left too much so I'm going to risk I don't want to take it off too too much and um, make the adhesive not as as strong but the fact that it's uneven right here is really going to bug me. So I'm going to go ahead and take it back off and shift it over just a tiny bit. And that's cool. When I pull it back off, it's still pretty tacky and it doesn't leave any residue.
I goofed. Looks like I got the adhesive on my jeans because there is some like dark lint back here. Uh, I am going to get some washi or lint roller and try to um, clear that lint off because, because it's such a pale yellow, it shows through. I'll try to fix that in a little bit. What do you think so far? Ah, this is, hey Tully. <laughs> Hi buddy. So far I'm kind of loving it. I'm halfway through and it matches perfectly with all of my little planners. Oh, it's so cute. One of the things that I'm noticing is that I'm trying to be gentle with it, but there's some points where I'm accidentally kind of pinching it and it's holding up really well because it's fabric it's not maintaining any strong creases so the fact that i'm having a little bit of trouble with it curling on itself which makes sense it's just like you know washi tape or anything well i'm still able to lay it down flat in the long run so i'm struggling with this blue one i think it's just because it's further down closer to the bottom so there's less wiggle room I guess to move around in but luckily I'm able to pull it back up and try again. It finally occurs to me to put the backing down on the floor under the drawers so if the adhesive falls down it'll fall on the backing and not on the carpet. So I have a lint roller and some scotch um, washi tape. I'm trying both just to give you guys a couple of options in case it happens to you but the best thing to do is just to not get the adhesive onto anything it's common sense but I just wasn't thinking about it so the lint roller <laughs> I don't advise I don't know if it's pulling the adhesive off of the fabric or what but I don't feel comfortable with doing that so let's try the washi tape instead I grabbed this washi especially because I know it's uh, really really sticky so I figured it would be the one that have the, that would have the best chance of getting the lint off of the other adhesive. So the washi didn't work either. The only thing left is to try some pins and to just pick at it piece by piece. That's going to take forever but to give you an idea. I'm not really sure what else I could do. I think from a distance it's not something that I would notice. And again, since you will have seen this video, <laughs> you will be warned ahead of time to be very careful about the adhesive outside of that. And that's that's user error, 100% user error. I actually really like it. I was worried that it would be a little bit too busy, but I like the way it ties in the colors from the planners. As promised, here's a look at what's on the inside of these drawers. The first three drawers are where I keep some of my embellishments and they're organized by color. So I have kind of my neutrals here, white, black, uh, gold, copper. And I uh, have some pink, orange, red here. Some yellow, green, blue, uh, some multicolored, some naturals. This. <laughs> Is this not the most wonderful sight ever? I didn't want to um, have everything displayed because, I mean, let's be honest, you've, if you've seen some of my um, workspace pictures, it's just, there's a lot going on. So I'm trying to um, get things to more of a visual minimum. I'm not minimalist, that's never gonna be me. I just don't want to have everything that I own displayed at all times. And here are some stickers, completely disorganized, just a big hodgepodge. There's a box of stickers that um, I have on my desk right now. That's what this square is. Uh, and it's just random stickers that aren't in the, the binders that I have. 
this last drawer is kind of miscellaneous it's got some over oversized tools and little bowls that i use for when i'm painting some silhouette vinyl junk like that now on the my wonderful walls website there are decals for the six drawer but there's also the two skinny ones the five drawer one and the taller nine drawer one the prices vary from $25.99 to $36.99. Right now there's a 10% off sale, so it's $30.59. And they gave a special discount code, yes please, for all of you to stack on top of that sale. Thanks to my wonderful walls for sending these to me to share with you all. I hope you get a chance to take a look at their website and see all the different options they have available to you. Definitely want to know your opinions. Do you like what you see? Would you try it out? Are you going to put uh, my wonderful walls decals on your wish list? Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you over at Instagram at Yes Please Planning. Bye bye.